This is yeah. what Trump, <laughs> Trump in a what? Who is that? Biden's Trump, in a jail. I, I don't Biden know exactly what uniform. It's some kind of like superhero thing. Exactly. But I, it, looks actually, like, it looks like Homelander, which is pretty funny because well, that's a uh, pretty much a Nazi character. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Trump wow. thing? Wow! Wow! Look at that. I should have brought this out yesterday. Isn't it cute? That's great. What? That's what? great. Oh, oh! I was looking at the thing. What is it? It's a it's Trump sorry. in prison it's puppet. Okay. Trump with his oh, that's adorable. Suit. That's really cute. So I, I actually do want to say something about sorry, the, yeah. the photo that you're on now. Yeah. Um, so I think that there, the thing for me that this entire um, March kind of showed is there is a greater detachment, not just on what should the country be doing, like most political rallies that, you know, well, I think, I think we should do this. I think we should do that. Right. And then, it, you know, people argue with each other, pro-life, pro-choice or, you know, whatever, but they, but they're sort of grounded in the same like reality. Um, this rally was unique in the sense that if you ask the average attendee of the event, like who won the election, they believe that Donald Trump won and you know, sort of later in the evening, uh, and I, I promise this is going to circle back to the photo that we're looking at. Um, later in the evening, Owen Schroyer, who is kind of a um, an Infowars personality and somebody that a lot of these guys look up to, he he was saying, I, I'm pleased to announce that Donald Trump has been reelected president of the United States. Like he said it as if it was reporting, like it was, like it was fact, right? All the other right. network, AP, Great. CNN, Fox, they all say, you know, like Trump lost, you know, but Infowars has called it for Trump. Like, yeah. um, th I think that the, the social media, the digital element of all of this does also feed into kind of the, the real world difference in, in realities. And the thing that I'd point out about this like photo is there has been kind of an exodus to a social media platform called Parler, yeah. which I actually, in principle, don't dislike the idea of alternative social media. I actually think it's a good idea for, for there to be competing social media platforms. Um, in terms of the technology, I don't have a problem with it. The reason I haven't joined Parler is that it seems like it's entirely one political ideology. Like, yeah. it, right. like I don't, I'm not interested in posting my content to have only Trump supporters see yeah. it. Um, but I do think that that kind of exit, if you I had Trump supporters significantly using Parler and twexiting as this yeah. okay. uh, poster uh, says, you do what, end up with a situation where- what, I'm sorry, what's the face on the poster? Yeah, who is that? That's it's Jack, Jack Dorsey. Dorsey. So that's the- Oh my God, oh, and it's just communist. So they're, they're, oh, labeling, they're labeling the CEO of Twitter as communist, I think it says communist treasonist or communist yeah. treason or something. Treason, like yeah. I think they, um, is it communism? Yeah, they need to make sure that there's agreement in there. You know, you got an adjective or a noun, just pick a side. Well, the word communist could be an adjective describing the term treason, like oh, treason right. of a it's communist so fashion. I communist really, treason, yeah. I really under, you're right. I did not grant them the literary agency that they that they have. Or the of course, it could also be uh, treason against communists. You know, if you did a communist <laughs> treason, you know, that would be treason against communism. So it is, oh, it's, I see, it's right. just maybe not the most well thought out sign well, is kind of what I think. Which is weird because they nail everything else in it. But it has yeah. the, the Chinese flag on the top left, yeah. the hammer and sickle on the the other and then they did yeah. do a good job of, of affecting the twitter font and it says twigs it which is hilarious yeah. Stand up to big tech and deactivate your account today new freedom of speech platform is parlor which kind of, the p there kind of looks like the p from planned parenthood which i don't think they were intending <laughs> for your free speech rates and join parlor.com today so i actually have one other problem with parlor beyond just the fact that it has only one political orientation on it yeah. I, I've looked at the actual terms of service of Parler, and while I don't doubt that the people on it face less censorship because they're talking about things that you know it's it's meant to appeal to, their their terms of service is actually stricter than right. than some of the other social media platforms when it comes to those things that conservatives don't like as much. So, for example, Twitter actually allows nudity. Like there are, you know, uh, my understanding is that there's like some kind of like a like. It, accounts labeled 18 plus or something like that but twitter doesn't actually outright discriminate against you know uh art with nudity or whatever parlor not allowed <laughs> parlor also actually doesn't allow what they consider to be profane usernames i saw that there was like oh really like cuss uh, words <laughs> so th this is going to sound quite crude but i saw that as an experiment there was a journalist who made an account called cum dumpster oh and sure 
that was <laughs> that was eliminated for being crude. So I I don't think that eliminating the account called Cum Dumpster is actually right. in the spirit of free no, speech. I don't know. It's it's more like they're they're allowing the free speech to express views aligned with the right wing. Right. And and then there are other things which they uh you know which they take exception to in some case cases even more uh strictly than the mainstream social media platforms. Right. Makes sense. Well, well, the other thing that, that brings up is the whole thing about Fox News. And I saw lots of signs. Oh, uh, yes. Again, oh, yeah. Because they hate Fox now. They've been, yeah. they've been well, great. Maybe those are the kind of uh, traders. It is kind yeah. of interesting. It is kind of interesting because it's like, in a weird way, in a weird, odd way, it kind of is media savvy to get the feeling that the Murdochs have like bailed on Trump because they have. And it is like, it's like on a weird gut level, they're understanding that like, you know, news media organizations reflect the views of the owner. You know what I mean? And so yeah. what's going to end up happening is they're going to move to OAN yeah. or whatever or and, whatever and streaming, Max, right? Whatever streaming, yeah, Newsmax, uh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, uh, I think Trump is going to go right. I think Trump. I think Trump is going to maybe. Uh, my theory, my prediction is that Trump goes like Bill O'Reilly and starts a thirty dollar a month streaming service, uh, I mean, an expensive right. streaming service that like OANN talent goes to and stuff like that. Right. 